Welcome to this, the second video in our series giving you an overview of technical diver training courses. In this video, we're going to pick up where your basic nitrox cert left off and elevate your O2 mixes from 40% to pure oxygen. Advanced nitrox, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see all of your smiling faces. I hope you're all doing really, really well. If you're new to our channel, make your next dive on our subscribe button. Hit that little bell icon so you're notified every time we drop a new video because we make content here at Divers Ready with one simple goal in mind, and that's to help make you a better scuba diver. We are back with the second video in this series, looking at the training progression for the open circuit technical diver. I am currently teaching TDI programs, so the standards I mention here refer to those particular courses. There are, of course, equivalencies and differences with other agencies. Side note here, and this was brought up in the comments section of the last video we made in this series, I don't like it when instructors say they teach four SDI or they teach for RAID or they teach for PADI. We need to change the vernacular there as a group of instructors. You don't teach for your agency. You teach their programs, but you teach for you and maybe your boss at the dive center you work at. Does your agency pay you to teach? No, quite the opposite. So you're not teaching for them. So let's tidy up our language here and remind ourselves that our agencies work for us. We don't work for them. Does that make sense? Okay, just a side note. In this video, as with every video in this series, we are going to cover an overview and the objectives of the Advanced Nitrox Diver course. What can you expect to learn if you do that course? What are the prerequisites and qualifications of people who graduate for this course? And who this course is best suited for? Let's kick it off with the overview and objectives. The idea of the Advanced Nitrox course is to expand your knowledge of the use of enriched air nitrox up to pure oxygen to enable you to handle, plan and dive ga gas mixes that are richer than the recreational limit of 40%. The course, as with every course, is going to feature some self-study, some instructor-led classroom sessions, and in-water skills training. But I would say that of all the technical diver courses, this one, Advanced Nitrox, is heavier on the theory than on the skills. There's a lot more classroom stuff than there actually is in water. You can expect to learn physics and, of course, physiology to a much deeper level than you ever have done before. Uh, related to diving with gas mixes containing more than 40% oxygen, the additional considerations that that brings up. You will also become proficient at diving, uh, planning dives based on both your nitrogen limitations and now your oxygen limitations as well. And you'll also be taught the additional equipment configurations such as O2 cleaning equipment. In fact, whilst it is not mandatory by agency standards, if you do this course with me, we will do this course in a technical diving equipment configuration because I believe that that best sets up students for future successes. In the water, there are really not that many skills. In fact, just seven. Seven according to course standards. Valve drills are introduced to this level, which may be new to you, but everything else is just about refinement of the fundamentals, making sure your core skills are completely solid before moving deeper. All right, what about the prerequisites and qualifications? What do you need to start this course and what does this course qualify you to do? Well, the textbook prerequisites from the agency are very simple. You need to be a minimum age of 18 or 15 with parental consent. You need to have a recreational nitrox cert specialty. That makes sense. Basically, the information follows on from where your recreational nitrox cert left off. And you need proof of 25 logged open water dives. Personally, I prefer a minimum of 50 dives and at least 25 of those dives to have been on nitrox at a recreational level. In addition to the agency mandated prerequisites, for me, you also need to come into this level of training with absolute best practice habits for recreational nitrox. You shouldn't come in rusty. You should already know how to accurately calibrate an analyzer. You should know how to calculate your MOD automatically. These are things that I teach at basic nitrox level, and you should come in with these skills nice and sharp. If you weren't taught those things on your nitrox course, I feel bad for you. You should absolutely go back to your nitrox instructor and slap their face, or maybe, you know, 
ask for your money back, less confrontational, but still. I expect advanced nitrox students to come into the course with rock solid recreational nitrox skills. So if you're one of those divers who always lets the boat's dive master hold the analyzer while they're measuring your tank, you're not ready for this. Qualifications of graduates, well, the TDI Advanced Nitrox course qualifies divers to use enriched air nitrox from 21% air through to 100% pure O2 within your current certification level to a maximum depth of 40 meters or 130 feet. So within your current certification level to a maximum depth of 40 meters, 130 feet, which is the same depth limit as a recreational diver with a deep diver specialty certification. So no additional depth there in addition, Advanced Nitrox on its own does not qualify you to compete dives beyond your NDL. Hmm. So, doesn't allow you to go deeper, not allowed to go past your NDL, so not a tech course then. Yeah, pretty much. The only thing Advanced Nitrox in practicality qualifies you to do that you can't already do at Advanced Open Water slash Deep Diver level is walk into a dive shop and ask them to fill a cylinder for you with a gas that is above the recreationally limited 40% of nitrox. So that's it. You can walk into a dive center and ask them, hey, I want 50%, 80%, I want pure oxygen. That's all it qualifies you to do. Now, you can use that gas recreationally. You could use it on your safety stop to give you a greater safety margin on your recreational dives. But if you want to use that cylinder for decompression diving, you're going to need additional training. So who is Advanced Nitrox training for? Well, on its own, Advanced Nitrox has very limited use cases in a practical sense. Maybe if you wanted to do very shallow, very long dives or, you know, for photography or scientific diving purposes, reef studies and that kind of thing. Or if you're looking to do rebreather training on a purely recreational basis, then I can see a point for doing advanced nitrox on its own with no supplemental training. Um, I guess it will work in those cases as a standalone course. Most commonly, I am teaching advanced nitrox in conjunction with decompression procedures to people who want to be open circuit technical divers. And we're going to look at decompression procedures in the next video in this series because it's an entirely separate course. So subscribe if you haven't done so already because you're not going to want to miss that. As always, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments below if you've taken the Advanced Nitrox training, what did you think of it, and what do you use that training to do for your diving? I always appreciate the interaction. I appreciate each and every one of you. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often.